just arriving to Key Largo. Nicholas is still sleeping. We had an early departure this morning. Left around 6 a.m. And we're going to be sailing down to Isla Morada. It's going to be about 25 statue mile trip. I didn't really check how to come miles. I just used Google Maps. So it's about 25 miles statue. this time is to enjoy the reefs because we're going to have a nice smooth uh, waters and uh, isolated thunderstorms hopefully we will not have too many issues with the thunderstorms it's one of those things at this time of year that is kind of a little problematic down here in the Keys but over, overall very tranquil waters at this time of year not too much going on. And we're just kind of crossing into Key Largo. As soon as I cross this bridge, I go into a different mode. It's just very relaxing, being surrounded by water. The climate is a little different. The air is more fresh. Uh, and it just feels different. They just kind of switch into like an island type of island mode, I guess. One of the things that we have to do first, uh, we have to get our provisions. We did a provision last night, which I usually like to do prior to departing. But uh, it shouldn't take us very long. There's a grocery store right here, right across pretty much from where we're going to be launching. So I usually like getting my provisions the day before, like I said earlier. And I couldn't find, actually I don't have a Publix on the way, so I went to Winn-Dixie. And it was an adventure finding things and checkout is like a nightmare. But uh, you know, ladies were some ladies over there were just the friends kind of. But they were nice, you know. So the next thing that I'm doing now, I'm going to organize our things, put it in the coolers and stuff. I'll show you guys a little bit how. We do that. I have ice right here. I got 20 pounds, which I'm going to distrib distribute into two different coolers. I got three gallons of water. Should be plenty of water, even for like a small showers. So I'll climb up onto the boat and organize all these things once, I get, once I'm on it. Meanwhile, Nicholas is still sleeping in the car. So Siren has this built-in ice box, which is amazing because it's kind of uh, good size and it's pretty protected from the sun and it actually it's insulated really well. So you know the real perishables I put in here, like our you know meat cuts and all that. So things that we don't use all the time, like our sandwich things and eggs and things like that I put in this cooler and kind of keep it shut and then I have a different cooler that we use for other things like drinks and things like that and then the water we stow I just stow it down here we have three gallons which is plenty of water cooler nicely stows underneath here I want to take it out we just grab it like this and pull it out and then we have a little pantry right here for the rest of the food so we just arrived at John Penner camp and all the trees are still here even after the Irma. The entrance is very nice. Are we going to be departing today? Yeah. How did that happen again? I put it to a different side. Man, it takes you longer to rig the main sheet than for me to launch the whole boat. I didn't just wake up. Why don't you go a little bit back? He's going to be so close to me. Alright, so we are motor sailing across Largo Sound right now. We had a really nice, uneventful launch. 
we got the slip for overnight we can extend it if we want to so this way we can go in and out we can use the showers so uh, now we are crossing the sound we're gonna go through a little channel and we are heading out to the reefs Do you want to say anything? Uh, not really. Alright. 